Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Tom Stewart here. I'm with Liz Trotter. Our guest today is Aaron Lash, and this is Smart Hi. Business Moves. Hey, Aaron. Hi. Thank you for having me. We love having you here, Aaron. Oh, hey, that's so here. Yeah, we do. I never so, say no. Uh, and that's awesome about you. You do <laughs> never say no. Yeah. And you always have something going on. So we do. Yeah. With Arxy and Tom and I both are big advocates of Arxy. Arxy. So yeah, we, we actually really not just spouting. We really do love having you on here. Give more people opportunity to find out about Arxy and what's going on. Oh, well, good. I'm glad to be here. And today we're going to talk about, we have a regional event, which I know we had one last year and we've had the show in person for two years, but it's just so much fun to get back to doing more things in person and getting back to normal. So we're excited. We're going to be in St. Louis on April 28th. Wow. In St. Where Louis are you going to be in St. Louis? What are you going to be doing? Yeah. We are. Well, we're doing a regional event. And I, I will tell you, we'll start at the beginning with this. And this came about, I was talking to Matt Ricketts, um, owner of Better Life Mates. Um, and uh, one of his, um, I would say competitors, but he's also one of his peers, uh, <laughs> is literally across the street. Stacy Weiland owns Green Angel Cleaning, and they wanted to do a regional event to open their doors and, you know, let people come in and tour the facility and ask questions. And they came to me and said that, you know, we think, you know, we want to host this. So that's what we're doing. Awesome. So are you doing it at Stacy's place? Are you doing that match? You're doing both? What's the... It's going to be work? both. The way this is going to work is we are going to start with tours in the morning from nine to noon. So I guess this would be nine to noon central. And I have to be cognizant of all the, the time changes since we'll be in St. Louis. It's uh, central time. Uh, we're going to start with tours at uh, Matt and Stacy's office. Uh, the first 50 registrants are eligible to take the tours with them and they're from nine to noon. Um, and so you'll get to view uh, Stacy's office, which Stacy has um, is known for her company culture. So she's going to walk you through and do a tour and talk about company culture. And Matt is good. Then we're, we, you also have the ability to, to tour Better Life Maids. And I think Matt's focus is, um, let me pull, I want to look at something real quick. Uh, He's going to talk, I think, about like his management processes and um, what he's done over the years, you know, uh, with his office. So we're really excited to do both the tours. Uh, Stacy's excited to, to be doing the tours also. She she really is. Um, and actually, uh, I want to, um, Tom, can you, do you want to pull the video up? Stacy Weiland did a little uh, sneak peek of her office so that you can kind of, or, uh, Take a look and see what what you're going to see on the tour. Nice. And I had this all pulled up here, and that's okay. While you're pulling it up, I know. Um, so I know we're going. You're going to be talking about Matt's going to be talking about his management and practices and stuff. But anybody that knows Matt, if you don't know already, check out Better Life Maids because their marketing is also amazing, and so is their branding. So if you really want to be able to see some great examples of branding, man. All right. Talk to us about Stacy. Okay. okay. Here is wanna... Stacy. Yeah, this is Stacy's sneak peek. Uh, she has a really strong company culture, um, and she's going to share a little bit about, you know, what she's done, like show, show you a little bit of her office. And then, you know, with both of these tours, you have the opportunity to, you know, to ask questions and to see what they're doing. I, you know, I know that's something that when we've done regional events before, that is something our members love to do is to get to kind of see what somebody else is doing. It just gives you so many ideas, inspiration, just, you know, it's just, you know, you, you, we feed off of this. So let's see what Stacy had to say. Yes, let's see what Stacy has to say. <laughs> <laughs> Right off the bat, you can tell that she cares about culture. Nobody that has um, poor culture is wearing a shirt with red hearts on it. I will say, she, it was yeah. Valentine's Day when she filmed this. All right. I'll, I'll, so, I'll cut you a little bit of slack there, maybe. <laughs> I need a shirt like that. Yeah. Tom, you say that. Is Denise on here? You better watch what you say. You're going to see what's <laughs> coming is. in the mail. <laughs> Yes. Denise, do not send him a Valentine's Day. I, I, yeah. <laughs> you need one for the holidays. Why not? You actually send yeah. him send him a four leaf clover one. We're coming up soon. Well, we did. We did St. Patrick's oh, Day. Did. I had like a, a green Teletubby suit. 
You have. Oh, it was, my. A, it was like a onesie for adults. So it oh was gosh. pretty. Well, and Denise does always send us stuff. I, I know I have a cute little thing that she sent me for St. Patrick's Day, too. Yeah, well, we happened to hit uh, Valentine's Day when I was talking to her this year, and she said, I'll do the video today. Nice. And her office was decorated for Valentine's Day, so she, you know, which Perfect. just goes to her company culture. I'm not sure. Well, we're struggling. I know how to fix this. I can this try. Is... Do you want me to try? Sure. Yeah. And depending on where it's at, maybe we could put the link for everyone in the comments do I, themselves. I click present. I can I can do that. No. Well, yeah, I can do that. You would do share screen. Do you have a oh, there's no share screen option anymore, Tom. So I guess it would be present. Here's the link I'll drop in comments. The thing that I love about the link, if y'all are like me, I like to speed it up so that I can watch it really quickly and then go back and watch it like 10 times. Can you see my screen? Not yet. Uh, yep. Oh, you can? I can't. Okay. There we go. Okay. I will click. Hi, Midwest Cleaning Company owners. Uh, my name is Stacy Weiland. I'm the owner of Green Angel Cleaning Services in St. Louis, Missouri. And... Um, during the ARCSI uh, regional event, I believe it's late April, um, you guys will have the opportunity to tour uh, Green Angel Cleaning, my office, and see what um, how we hang on to our employees and our company culture. We're known for rolling out the red carpet for our employees. So kind of give you just a little quick tour. We have our core values. We have all kinds of fun stuff here. I'm trying to get everything in, um, we have our little coffee station, um, just oh, lots of things. Okay. When people walk into our office, we want them to be like, wow, I have to work here. And then when they're hired on, we want them to say, wow, I need to hang on to this job. And that's, um, that's how it is. But we have, we'll be able to show you like all of our, the contests that we do, all of our boards that we have set up. Um, here's, it's Valentine's day. That's why I have my heart sweater on. And we have our field supervisor who's always putting together fun things for the housekeepers. I'm gonna actually walk in here. This is Ashley. She's just thinking of ways to spoil the housekeepers. She just closed I, her I was cabinet. To you me to open, here, open up that cabinet. I saw it for the first time today. I was like, look at that. It's just a whole cabinet of goodies. Um, but anyway, I'm going to give you a tour of our office, talk to you a little bit about our culture and how we hang on to our housekeepers and have a very, very, very low turnover rate rate. So we hope to see you there. Okay. So I'm going to remember that when, I what, when I go Angelina over from clean G. snacks. Yeah. I'm and going, when I go to Stacy's, I'm going right to the back to that cabinet. <laughs> I, know, I know right where it is too. I was like, okay, take notes. <laughs> and I, lots of good stuff in there. I want those chips. That's what I saw. <laughs> yeah. I know that's what I saw too. I don't know why that stood out, but I was like, what's next? That's funny. Well, that's super exciting. Yes. Uh, so basically, uh, anybody that's going to the regional event is going to be able to see uh, a, like a very well rounded view of a, yes. a lot of different things. Where when you go to one business, usually you see like the thing that they're good at. Like if we were only going to Stacy's, we would see we would see lots of stuff, but the main yeah. thing would be the company culture, but going over to Stacy's and yeah. going to Matt's, we're going to see like a really well-rounded view of a lot of different things to do. If you want to grow into a big company and not, yeah. not just stick, where is the link? Have we already posted the link? I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's, Have in, you got it? it's in comments. All right. It's in comments. Um, I don't see it. The link to register. No, I thought you were talking about the video. Yeah, the link to register. And what's the what's the price, Erin? Okay, the price for registering is um, the well. I got to say, the early bird ended yesterday. It's ninety nine dollars for members and one ninety nine for non members, and that ended yesterday. However, we have a, a oh. promo code that you can get the early bird rate if you register. If you use the promo code save fifty, you can get the early bird rate because the the rate had gone up today to one forty nine. And it would be two ninety nine okay. for non members, but you can save fifty dollars on your registration if you use the promo code Save Fifty. 
All right. Oh, one more. S A V S A V E five zero. Yes. Save fifty, and you can take fifty dollars off your registration. So and for members that would bird price. That okay. would well for members that would be the early bird price. So um, you can still get that, and that is good through the event. So I want to make sure everybody, you know, if if you happen to catch if you miss the live broadcast of this and you catch it later, um, we want to see you there. Um, we're really excited, and I think like. One of the things I touched on when we first started talking about, like Matt and uh, Stacy had talked about doing this, is I said they're competitors because they kind of are across the street. They're you know in the same area, but one that is just really representative of ArcSea's membership that they're willing to you know work, that they want to work together, that they share and that you know ideas, and that they're opening their doors to you. So that's something that you know our ArcSea community is really known for is uh, really being welcoming to everybody else in the industry and, and hoping for your success. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm looking. I have an event on that day that I'm thinking I should probably try and move because I definitely want to go there. I have been there before and it's amazing. I don't want to miss another opportunity. And what do we have there? It's on the 28th right it well i tell you what the, the event keeps getting bigger and bigger and we can dig into some of the specifics later but i will okay. tell you we keep adding to the event um we're going to add on on saturday april 29th matt ricketts is opening his office again and we're going to have a training day with sharon tinberg she is launching uh her house cleaning process and procedure training through arcsees um it's our lms with i with issa um, nice. and we put it in the online learning system and you get a year subscription and you have unlimited use for the year for this training and then you have a very you know but then you have a lower subscription rate for each year that you renew um that is going live next week with uh and that was designed specifically by sharon tinberg and she's coming to st louis to do a lot for a live version of that for any of the anybody coming to the regional event if you want to stay uh, the registration for that will go out uh, later this week. And if you register for the regional event already or plan to, you'll save $25 off of the registration for the training day. So we'll send you information about that. Okay. Training day. And do you know what the registration is for that? Yes, it's $49 for, for no. Yeah, it's $49 for members. And so, and you can save 25. So basically it's free. It's, yeah, it's going to be $25. And if you attend and then buy the house cleaning process and procedure training in our LMS, we'll take $99 off if you attend the event. Okay. So basically the event is free. You're going to get an in amazing there. program. You get to do all of the um, additional tour time over yes. at Matt's and uh, more time to pick people's brains. So you do, and we right haven't on. even started talking about the education yet. Yeah, <laughs> we have an event on Thursday as well. Yes, we do. No, no, we do. No, we do. Yeah. We do. We're calling this a discovery day for Made Central. We're going to have an educational component. We're going to be talking about core KPIs and how you use those to drive outcomes in your business. But it's more of a deep dive into Matt's business and the tech stack that he uses to, to to scale his business and you get to see really cool stuff he's got like four, like large tv screens i guess on his wall where he's got all kinds of uh reports and metrics and he'll show how uh you know kind of the the the, the, the nuts and bolts and brains between behind you know how he uses technology to get the results and you know gee whiz he's increased his revenue from 1.9 million to 3.2 over a relatively short amount of time and gets his bill rate up all this uh really cool metrics here i'll drop this in chat yeah, we can't as well. see that. you can't no my eyes are not good anymore so i no. have a huge screen <laughs> oh, and i can't even see it it's well, so tiny better get bigger bigger there you go there Yay. we go now we can read it all right so it looks like a lot we got a lot of stuff going on with matt here lots of numbers uh because made central is really all about the numbers and working those numbers and and growing okay oh, awesome i love this the short story is he's making a whole lot more money with fewer people and um it's uh it's an impressive show so there's a whole lot of reasons to go to st louis that way we're doing this on Wednesday. We're doing the Arxy event on Thursday. We've got Sharon doing her thing on 
Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Yeah. And not to mention, uh, Matt has thrown this in. It's a great time of year to go if you want to do a little sightseeing in St. Louis. If you've never been to the Arch, if you've never seen, you know, you know, they have some great restaurants, some good food there. It, you know, there's a lot to do there. So, you know, it's it's a great time to go to St. Louis. Um, sounds like a great experience. Oh. Um, as, and it sounds like it's so affordable. One thing that is another bonus is it's kind of more centralized for those of you that are like, oh, we're always having to go over to the East Coast. Everything's on the <laughs> yes. East Coast. Well, here we go. Look at this. You, little... you can, it doesn't matter where you are, you can get to St. Louis. You can get there from yep. anywhere. Yeah. And hotels are not crazy like they are in Chicago. Right. So you nope. can afford to go there too. Nope. Right. But you know, you mentioned Chicago. We should probably talk a little bit about the uh, event that we did in Chicago, the regional meeting that we had over at Gosha's. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. If you we guys, had... you know, for, for the folks who were there, I guess we really don't need to say any more, anything more about why it would be worth going to this event in St. Louis. If you weren't there, you missed a really, you know, it was very educational. It was inspirational. Um, and it was fun. Yeah, I would say, yeah, a couple, I had a couple of quotes that I had used just, you know, in, in our blog and sharing out and I have some videos that I'll send out, but they um, talked about, you know, that here's a quote from Caleb Pierce of Pink Power Cleaning. He said that with some of the power players in the industry at the regional event, it helped to identify some areas where we could improve and get some creative concepts to develop. Um, Marlo chimed in and just um, said, even for someone who's been in a business for a while, I learned new things. So, you know, the, the nice thing what we do with our RC regional events is we combine the education with the community. And that's really what we like to do with these events. It gives a chance for the community to get together um, and engage. And it's, I will say every time I, you know, the, the event in Chicago we had, and even with the show every year, when this group gets together, it's like a family reunion. That's totally true. <clears throat> in some cases, a lot better than a family reunion. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> good point, Tom. Good point. <laughs> I will say, and it, um, as, as you pulled up, here's our education schedule for what we have going in. Really, the, the focus of this event is creating a culture for success, for helping you, you know, with things that you need to do at your office uh, to get to that next level. Everybody always talks about being, you know, getting to that million dollar level. I think we have a lot of, you know, and I know, you know, at RxC and around the country, there's a lot of uh, new people to the industry. So this is really yeah. good for you to really see what some companies have done over the last few years. And specifically as they, you know, navigated through COVID to get reached their, you know, the success that they did. But also uh, there are a lot more companies nowadays that are either at a million, closing in on a million and, that that's all fine and dandy, but there that's also almost like the new valley of despair that you have to be ready to do some new things, some different things if you want to get to that $3 million mark now. Right. And so it sounds like we're going to be able to see a lot of those things here at uh, the St. Louis event. So both, it sounds like it's going to be great for both yeah. guys companies. Oh, wait, yeah. It was like Gosha's. It's, it's it's inspirational. You see what's possible, and you know, I don't want to say it's not that hard. I mean, it's hard work, but once you're able to see it and talk to the people that's making it happen, it's a lot clearer in terms of yeah, I can do this. I, I it's 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 attainable. It really is, and I, I I hear that from a lot of people that there's more and more people that have reached that million dollar level. Um, so, you know, I, I agree. I think this is this will be great for, you know, for the companies that have been in it for a while and have hit that level, but also for the new companies really to get into and learn about the community and, you know, what you need to do. Yeah. Can you take us down, show us uh, education? Yeah. I, think, I think Aaron was talking about that. Sure. Absolutely. Our education, um, we start off on the, the Friday, the 28th. And like we said, we're going to be doing the tours uh, with Matt and Stacy's office. And then we go back to... We are going to be, it's it's called the Shrewsbury City Center. I want to say, I think Matt said it was an, a form of an old mall that, or was it a school? It was, it's, but it's, you know, be, been revamped into kind of like a city center and they have a lot of space. So we're able to rent some rooms there that so we can do our education for the afternoon. And we're going to focus on, like I said, we're talking about creating a culture of success. Um, we have our introduction and welcome. Uh, if you've been to the coffee and conversation, RJ and Gosha are, are 
we'll be right there welcoming everybody and getting the event started and you know talking about artsy a little bit and you know what we're going to do for the day and then i think first up i know that name tom stewart i don't know who is that guy like, like where's waldo pops up all over the place. <laughs> yeah tom is going to join us and you're going to talk about the future business success so it, i think that looks like we're going to talk about some numbers we are we're going to talk about numbers we're just going to talk about how technology is helping the more successful the most successful residential cleaning services go beyond just driving sales to actually managing the process where they're making more profit off of the sales that they're getting and there's a lot of moving parts to that it's it's, it's getting your your cost of goods sold down it's extending the lifetime value of a customer it's getting the appropriate bill rate and identifying where you aren't and how to fix it and um there's a whole lot of money to be made there and companies it used to be that everybody got excited about talking about their sales and how many homes they cleaned and uh you know a lot of us just focused on that and if we made money that's great sometimes we didn't even know how or why but you know if we clean enough homes we'll certainly make money well it's 2023 and there's a lot of professional management uh techniques that take sales and turns it into profits and that's really you know we're, we're bringing that to the to the residential cleaning industry And we have, we're going to take, well, you know, um, we'll take a little break. We'll probably, and then we're going to, uh, you'll, you'll need a break. You'll need to break probably. after that. Probably. Yeah. I, definitely. Your brain will. <laughs> um, and then we have Matt and his original uh, title, I think talked about like creating a two-year business plan. Um, and so then we kind of switch it to getting your management process in place. So I think it's going to be another one talking about numbers and uh, you know, what, like I think he's going to focus on a little bit what you talked about, Liz, about, you know, what he's done over the last couple of years and how he's changed his processes um to get to where he has been and hopefully we can pick his brain a little bit because he really is good at marketing you know we've uh, had him speak you know about seo and just you know google ads and just i mean he's just tremendous at, you know so i i would highly you know take take advantage of the knowledge that he brings to the table all right and then that last one we have is with rj and gosha yes and if you are RJ, uh, Gosha has a phenomenal office and the way she interacts with her employees is it, it's, 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 it's moving like the, you know, how, how invested her employees are in her business. Um, and so that's going to, what they're going to talk a little bit about is, you know, how you create that better culture by working with your employees. You know, one of the things that, you know, we've talked about is um, your employees are the face of your company. And so, you know, we hear a lot you, that you want, repeat clients well if you want repeat clients you know you need to have consistency you, it's your employees and what they do and so that's what you know they're going to talk about how you can engage your employees to want to keep them uh, you know i think we're finally hitting a point i'm hoping that hiring is getting better um and retention but you know in fact you know having a better employee engagement plan is going to help you retain those employees yeah and I, I work with um, Gosha's, so I've done trainings for Gosha around this idea. And then also her main manager, her operations manager, Carmina, she's mm -hmm. in our strategic success circles. And I can tell you, they are very strategic about how they work. And a lot of times when people are thinking about culture, they're like, oh, it's just fun and trying to not so. Nope not so at all that is not what it's about and they they always are ab about the bigger picture how is it more than just you know it's not like it's really fun to look at stacy's office yeah i promise you i mean i haven't talked to stacy at all but i promise you she's not going to be talking about how to decorate no, <laughs> she's not, not. Talk about how to have parties and how to have fun because it's not about that and a lot of times people get it confused. They think it is. So this this type of information is deep and wide. You can't just hear about it one time and think, oh, okay, now I got it. It doesn't work that way. But we could still like check out her snack cabinet, right? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Gotta have you snacks. Would... She has promised that she will have snacks available for the tour, <laughs> <laughs> which I think they all they have to do is open the cupboard. 
So, Erin, did you see um, Stacy's question here? Yes. A registration for the training day has not opened yet. We should have that open by tomorrow, Friday at the latest. So, and I, I think uh, Stacy is one of the people that has already registered. So, I'll be sending information out. Um, we're going to send a postcard out soon, so that'll be on the postcard. Um, it'll be all over the place how you can register for training day as well as for uh, May Central's uh, Discovery Day. Here we go. Snacks. That's why Stacy's nice. going. <laughs> Not entirely, but I mean, it is, you know, a consideration. It's a perk. Yeah. It's a perk. Well, I mean, I will tell you, one of the things that we're doing in that snacks is always on the table, but um, I will, we had, we had, we had a great program at the regional event in Chicago, but I think what most people that attended may remember was the networking event we had at the end because the food was amazing. We had, there might've been a few drinks and it was just, it was, it was a lot of fun. And especially after a day of heavy lifting. And I mean, some of these topics are heavy. It's it just, it, it's a given. You're going to, you're going to come away with a lot of good information that you can take back to your office, but you're going to have Friday night to decompress and relax um, at our networking event. I have uh, been working with uh, Stacy and Matt. We're putting together a St. Louis fair for you. So we're going to have Emo's pizza, and toasted ravioli and then we have sandwiches from mom's deli now i'm not a st louis person so i don't know either of these but i trust their opinion i'm sure it'll be good always is yeah never never really have a feeling of they're not feeding us well at these events no so not good food you totally will so we're really excited um and that's one of the things i like to do and that's what i told them you know when we talked about what do we want to serve i said well i want st louis fair like when you're in chicago you get this when you're you know what do we get when you're in st louis like, cause I knew when we were in Chicago, I'm like, well, we're getting portillas, so you have to, and deep dish pizza. So, what do you get when you're in St. Louis? Awesome, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. All right, so I have a question about convention. We were talking about that before we got in here. Is there anything that we really need to hit on here more before we start talking about convention? The big thing is, and I have an email that's going out to members uh, soon. A couple of things that I'm working on right now for convention. Well, there's three okay. things actually. One is save the date. It's uh, November, I almost said March. It's November 13th to the 16th, 2023. And we are in Vegas this year. But unlike other years, we are not at the Las Vegas Convention Center. We're moving to the Mandalay Bay Convention Center this year. Um, and it's a different hotels, different location. Uh, the hotel and room block will be going out soon. So I would definitely watch your email. We'll be sending information to you know members, to past attendees. Um, make sure and watch out for that because we are up against, and um, I'm not going to say NASCAR, but the week after we're there, it's Formula One racing and um, that we're going to be competing for hotel space with them. So once the room block goes out, I highly encourage you to get your, to make your reservation. Uh, the room block should be going out very shortly. Um, so again, watch your mail for that and make sure that when, if you plan to go to the show and even if you don't and you think you might, I would make your reservation because you have usually, you know, check with the hotel, but usually there's a, a space where you can cancel without any charges. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I highly encourage you to make your reservation. The other thing is we're uh, speaker proposals are open right now. So that's another thing. If you would like to speak at the show, now is the time to get your proposal in. And you would go to issashow.com um, and click under, uh, I think it's under education, um, but you can, or it might even be on the homepage for issashow.com page. But if you I'm would like to speak at the show, it's, it, it closes March 31st. So yeah, if you are looking to speak, get that in. The other thing that I'm asking, we're sending out a, a, a link to, uh, to email to members and some past attendees is, what do you want to see on the education schedule this year? You know, our education, our, our residential show committee is meeting. And one of the things that they, they want to know is, you know, what do you want to hear at the show? What are the issues, you know, that are hot this year? You know, the last couple of years, we've talked a lot about hiring and retention. Um, you know, what are some of the, you know, hot buttons that we need to hit on this year you know what would make you want to come to the show other than you know just getting together with your community and vegas is a lot of fun i'm at the, right. the website here aaron so this is the issa show would this be where do, the link is to do you uh, click on education does it take it is it there it says overview. overview uh scroll down on the page i know i found it the other day pretty easily no This yeah. is this is not the ISSA page. This is I clicked on the convention. So this is the uh, ISSA show.com page. Let me send you the link. I have it. Uh, 
I have been sending this out to, I know I've sent it to both of you. I've sent it to all of our past speakers. I've sent it to members. Let me pull it up right now and I'll put it in the chat for you. And the deadline for that's the end of, end of this month, right? Yes. Yep. Which will come really fast. So fast. It's going to come even faster for us, Tom, because we're going to be at foundations for two weeks. <laughs> the, the month is over already. I know. And it's, it's, today's the first. I think You're I not. put it in the private chat, Tom. Do I need to hear I got it. I okay. got it. I'll click on this too. Just to... If you get it in after March 31st, we'll definitely look at it, but there's always no guarantee. Once the schedule is set, it just, it's set. And uh, so mm -hmm. I want to make sure if you're interested in speaking this year, be sure to get your proposal in. So I have to have a login and password, I guess, to... Well, uh, you would have to create, yeah, you have to create an account to submit your proposal. Okay. And if you've done that before, if you spoke before, you should already have one. It would be the same. So if anybody, if you have uh, been a, a speaker at the ISSA show before, you would just use the account that you had before. Um, if not, you would need to create one. So, you know, all of this, you know, the the, the, the convention, uh, the event, the regional event in St. Louis, which is, is, is going to be, you know, towards the end of April, not that far away at all. No. We kind of get tied up in our day-to-day -day stuff and we're busy and days turn into weeks and turn into months. And, you know, I know for a lot of people, I know for myself, there was a time when, you know, I didn't have time for any of this because, you know, I got a business to run. Yeah. But if you can just break away and engage and network and see how other people are doing stuff, you get that time back a dozen times over more, probably more. And, you know, it's just that one idea that you bring back and implement that can, can, can change your business. I will say I have never had anybody regret going to the show or even to any of our regional events. Yeah. Like we never heard that. No, we work really hard to make sure that you have takeaways that it's, there is, there's the fun. We're going to have the networking. We're going to do, you know, you know, food and drink, but at the heart of it is going to be a lot of education and some tangible things that you can take away and go back to your office and implement. Um, ways that you can help you make your business better and beyond making your business better you also take that network back with you that you've built so many great things about arxy that sometimes i think we it sounds like we're being repetitive but it feels like it needs to be repeated like I heard just last week somebody say oh arxy yeah i yeah i didn't think i'd be a member i'm like what I can't even envision a reason why you wouldn't. She was like, eh, I don't know. I just don't know what would be the point. <laughs> what? Oh, no. What? There's too many points. How How is there anybody out there that is thinking there's not a point? So ma many opportunities, so much value. And it's yes. something that lasts all year long, too. Uh, one of the things that I love about Arxy now that wasn't true five years ago is your membership is paying off every single month all year long now. There's always something going on. Uh, it wasn't always that way. We we tried, right? Arxy was trying for a while there, but it just wasn't to the level that it is now. It's, there is something every... Program's grown. Yes, I would say. And part of that is, you know, being part of ISSA has helped because we've been able to grow what we do. Um, make our programs bigger and more of a reach. Um, we also have, you know, a lot of benefits that we, you know, at RC, you know, the little things we were, I was talking about that with a group today that, you know, it, in addition to the community, the education that, you know, the ISSA show, the advocacy program that we have, um, there's ways day to day, like, you know, one of the things, you know, somebody was talking about today is that they, um, Perfect Clean, if you, and I think everybody knows who Perfect Clean is, with your RC membership, you save fifty percent on everything you purchase at, at Perfect Clean. So fifty percent. When do you get those kind of deals anywhere? 50%. Yep. Yeah. So right off the bat, we have. Um, you know, I know somebody just. You know, we have uh, background checks with Intellicor, and um, you know, somebody just signed up for that and said, you know, it was phenomenal. We have you save up to forty percent off your credit card processing. So there's just so many benefits that these little things that just pay for your membership. We also and, have and, all, and all that's good. All that's good. But it's not, I mean, it's not at the top of the list for no. why you want to do it. It's the networking. It's the 
professional connections you're able to make yes. in an organization where you're together with like-minded people who are all aspiring to do the same thing, you know, pro professionalize the industry, professionalize the business, grow their businesses, create more value and do it in a way where they aren't, they aren't killing themselves doing it, you know, make it, make it, make it fun and make it, um, you know, so you can love your business, you know? Yes. I mean, there's just so many reasons that, that, you know, yeah, I can get a better deal on supplies. I can get, you know, insurance and, and, and opportunities, you know, all kinds of vendors and things. And that's good. The, the, the training, the education, the uh, certification programs, all that's good, but it's the, it's, it's, it's the networking and being able to figure out how to get your business to a point where it's the business that you want it to be. I will say, and you have to plug into that community. I get too many times, you know, well, I haven't attended this webinar. No, I haven't joined the Facebook group yet. No, I didn't do it. You have to plug into your community. As with anything, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out. So you just come to our coffee and conversation. The first thing, first way to learn about us is, you and know. And that's tomorrow, right? It is tomorrow. Let me give you the link for that. We have our mm -hmm. monthly coffee and conversation. I'll put that link in the chat here, Tom. I don't. You know, we see and we hear about a lot of people, too, that are just like, you know, I hate my business. I need to get out. I just, I can't do it anymore. It's so hard. Monday mornings are a nightmare. I can't <laughs> wait eight Mondays, right? We hear that, but you don't hear it as much for sure from the people that are plugging in. And as you plug in more and more, all of those problems go away because you learn how to manage all of this stuff and you learn how to manage yourself as well so that even if some of the problems are still there in your business, because I'm not at all trying to say that if you join Arxy, you are going to have no problems in your business. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I am saying is you will feel confident to manage the problems and you will learn how to be able to manage them in a more professional way. You won't be pulled by the tides and feel like you're being yanked around by your employees at the, or that they're running the show. You'll, you'll be in charge. You'll know how to step up and be in charge. It was, the, and I would say the pandemic, it was really telling. We had so many people coming to us saying thank you for, because the resources that we had put in yeah. the community that we've helped people to build, they said, that's how my business survived. I was able to plug into my community and th get the support I needed. Yeah. And yeah. You know, I, truth be told, uh, you know, I believe all of us at, at some point along the way, had that discussion. It's like, what, what, what am I doing? And, and why am I doing this? Yeah. And, you know, like the event in St. Louis, if, if you're, if you ever find yourself asking that question, go check out these businesses in St. Louis and that'll give you a, a much clearer firsthand idea mm -hmm. as to, to why you're doing it. You know, there's, you know, there's a payoff for this. And most of us are a whole lot closer than we, we recognize and being able to see it and being able to talk to the people that are making it happen. You know, a lot of times it's just that pinch of baking powder that makes the difference between, you know, having something that's really good or having a doorstop. I will say that our coffee and conversation tomorrow is we're going to talk about how to promote spring cleaning. And our guest is going to be Debbie Sardone and Debbie is great at marketing. She's going to come and she's going to join us and talk about how to, how, what you can do differently to kind of, you know, how to promote spring cleaning and how, how the, what, what you can do a little differently. Cause we're coming up on a time where this, you know, everybody's thinking and I'm thinking it, I'm happy to open my windows and doors. I'm just, you know, and you want to, you know, encourage people that what should you do differently with spring cleaning? Why is it important to do it? And, you know, part of it is, why did it even come about? Why is spring cleaning even a thing? Um, so we're going to talk about that. And then we also have uh, Libby Dilution is going to be with us. And she is with, uh, she owns a residential cleaning company in Florida, but she is also uh, one of the uh, founders of Woot Recruit. And she's going to talk to us a little bit about, you know, give us some suggestions on lead generation. So nice. It's going to be a good, good show. We so, do. So did, you, did you put in there what time? It is 1130 Eastern. I don't know. If Can you read that or is it too small? No, too small. That's why I was asking. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it's 1130 AM Eastern. And we do that so that, you know, it's lunchtime here on the East coast and it's still morning on the West coast. And then everybody else kind of falls somewhere in the middle. And I drink coffee all day, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> Same. 
Same, same. I bring my Diet Coke, but I put it in a coffee cup because RJ wants everybody to have a coffee cup. So I, buy my, <laughs> I might have my coffee cup, but it's not coffee. So... I got mine. How, how do I actually participate in this? This is a, 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 a meeting inside this of Zoom? This is a Zoom meeting. It's not a webinar. So everybody okay. is there and able to talk. Um, RJ and Gosha are, are again, they're, are, they're tremendous hosts. They're very passionate about ARCSI membership. Um, so they are a host. They welcome everybody. We chat a little bit. They'll introduce our speakers. And then you have time that, you know, Debbie will talk for a few minutes. There's no PowerPoint. It's very informal. Um, but then you get a chance to, you know, question, right? You know, raise your hand or just, you know, talk, you know, you put Where's it in the, the link, Darren. Um, I see, I gave that to Tom. I don't yeah, know. I got the, link. the link is in chat. Okay. okay. Mm. Um, is it? Oh, I thought it was, I don't know. I don't Here are so many links. Here's the link. There's okay. another link. All of these links that we've shared, you can get to from RC's <laughs> website. Okay. If you go so to rc.org, any of these links that we've talked about today will be there. Um, so when, the I go, when I go to this link, do, is there registration? Do I need to sign in? You go How down at the, scroll down to the bottom. It should be, register. where's that register now? Dang. Okay. And the okay. nice thing with this is you can, when you register, you can, if you want to, you don't have to, you can oh, register wow. for all of them. So that way you yes. get just a reminder for our monthly coffee and conversation. It's the first Thursday of every month at 1130 AM Eastern. And I love that it is that you can do it once and it pops up on your calendar so yep. that you don't click over it. It's always there. I love that. It is. We've had a lot of fun with these. Um, you know, it's a great way. You know, our council members have been there. We have our new regional ambassadors. They've been there. Uh, we bring on speakers to talk about some, you know, some topics that, you know, the, you know, what are some of the hot buttons that we need to talk about? Um, so they're just, they're fun. And then so, we have, like I said, we have Debbie Sardone tomorrow and uh, Libby Delusion, so we're excited to have both of them. Um, and in April, we're going to feature some of our speakers from the uh, from this event. We're going to talk about creating a culture for success, and then tease a little bit, and probably give some uh, uh, some sneak previews for the uh, regional event. Stacy Wyland's going to be there, so I think she'll give us even a little bit more insight on what you know her what she does for company culture. You think maybe we could get some close-ups of her snack cabinet? I, I bet you if you ask, she might. Give us a sneak peek for what she'll be serving in uh, April at, at the event. Yeah. Want to hear a little bit more about this pizza and those sandwiches. <laughs> I know. It's getting close to dinner here on the East Coast. I'm ready. I like they start, they start talking about the toasted ravioli, and I was like, I'm in. It sounds delicious. Yeah, toasted ravioli is the bomb. It's excellent. Okay. I know. I I feel bad that we keep talking about the food like the food is the only thing. <laughs> it is not, but it, it, you have to have it, especially after day. And I, I feel like these events, like they're a lot of fun, but they're some heavy lifting. You come away with a lot of ideas. So, you know, the food at the end of the day is, is going to be good, especially to help people to kind of decompress yeah. and relax a little bit. And the connections that you make. I know that there are... I think three businesses right now today out visiting Matt Ricketts because, uh -huh. because of connections that they made through Arxy. Yeah. So they're going and they're, they got a personal invite from Matt to go, to go visit with him and talk about business. You don't get that. You don't, you don't create those relationships if you don't go to the events if you don't plug in, like like you were saying, Aaron, yes, you have to you have to be part of the entire ecosystem. We're all in our minds, the people that are part of Arxy, we're all part of this this um, industry, the that, residential cleaning industry, and I, I love that we're, we're trying doing to grow it to more. It I, I love what we're doing with this industry because, you know, some things that, you know, we're professionalizing the industry. We've talked about that, and, you know, making people to see, you know, letting consumers and, you know, other business owners see that it's more than just, you know, you're more than just cleaning a toilet. It's not a mop in a bucket. This is, there's a science behind the cleaning and we're professionals. And, you know, there's, there's so much potential with this industry. It's, it's you know, we've gone from being, you know, I know what it used to be, you know, getting your house cleaned was kind of a luxury. Now it's a necessity. <laughs> Couldn't yeah. You can't imagine not. Yeah. I would love to talk a little bit more about what it means to professionalize the industry. I think that's almost become like a catchphrase. People hear, oh, we're trying to professionalize the industry, but they're 
what, what does that mean? What are you doing to professionalize the industry? Because behind the scenes, ARCSI is also doing other things, or ISSA is doing other things to help professionalize the industry. But what, what is that? Like, what does professionalize the industry mean, Erin? We started with, um, you know, I know that was one of the things when I, when ARCSI first, and we are, on a side note, ARCSI celebrates its 20th anniversary this year. Ah. Um, and so right. one of the things, uh, you know, we're really, you know, we've been doing something, you know, trying to do something fun every month to kind of recognize, you know, the people that were, you know, there at the very beginning and, you know, really, you know, you know, how instrumental it was, it was just, you know, a conversation in Dallas and it's, you know, turned into, an, you know, this huge, this huge industry now. Um, but one of the things, you know, I know that the group uh, that some of the founding board members wanted to do was to create a certification. And that's where the house cleaning technician training came about was, you know, really sh having a certification to, you know, help elevate and illustrate to, you know, consumers that there is a science behind the cleaning and that you, you don't just want somebody coming in and just using it, not just any chemical on any surface. It, it's, it's really understanding, you know, realizing that this industry recognizes what, you know, they're professionals that they know what they're doing. And so I think that was, you know, I know that was the, you know, start with the house cleaning technician training. Uh, we've also have, uh, I, I know I always say, I want to say Tom Stewart, but I know Janice did a lot of that. And then we had a group that came together and we have now the professional house cleaning certification that um, is an online version. A little, it, it's a seven module system that talks about being a professional and understanding it. It's about safety. It's about surfaces. It's about your environment and understanding that you're a professional. Yeah, I mean the whole the whole vision was twenty years ago. I think the most people looked at cleaning as just a chore that nobody wanted to do. So I don't want to clean my house. I'm going to hire somebody else. And anybody with a vacuum cleaner in the trunk of their car could could clean a home. And we recognized early on that it was it's, it's a lot more than that. It should be a lot more than that. And if it wasn't a lot, if that was all it was, then the jobs weren't going to be that good. The service wasn't going to be that good. Consumers really weren't going to be uh, getting the value that they deserved. And the whole idea of, of, of owning a business wouldn't make a whole lot of sense either. So through professionalism, you know, you're, you're able to train, you're able to, 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 to build a workforce that, that understands the science of cleaning, the safety, all of the, the, the things that are necessary to, to make sure that, you know, they can clean a home in a safe way and, and, and make the home safe and do it without uh, damaging surfaces and do it in a way where, where, where consumers are getting, you know, maximum value uh, out of the service. And you're right. You know, I, I think that we're getting to the point that it's, it's not really considered a luxury anymore. I think uh, more and more people are looking at, you know, the idea of, cleaning your home doesn't make any more sense than changing the oil in your car. People <laughs> just don't do that anymore. Um, or growing the segment of the uh, segment of the entire population keeps growing that, 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 that kind of looks at it that way. Well, uh, and, and that being said, you want, your home is one of your most precious assets. I mean, it, it's just, it, you know, and so you want to bring in a professional that you, you can trust them. You want trusted experienced professionals to come into your home. And that's what we do, you know, at Arxy is ele elevating our members so that they understand that they're professionals in this industry. And it's kind of like the perfect storm right now. It's 2023. We just, you know, made it <laughs> through COVID and wages are a whole lot higher now than they were just a few years ago. And there's a lot of good in that. Um, and we're to the point through professionalizing the industry that we're putting cleaning professionals in a position where they can create more value through, you know, the training and, and, and the work that we're doing. And it's a lot easier to pay people more money if they're able to provide additional value. And that's uh, really where we see it coming all together because through all this work, now we're getting to the point where we're paying really competitive wages. You know, I know, you know, a lot, a lot of companies, you know, have, you know, 20 plus, you know, dollar an hour for, for, mm -hmm. for technicians now. Yeah, yeah. It's it's hard to imagine when you look back, you know, that not that many years ago, that, you know, it seems like a, a scary number. Liz, you remember we would have all these discussions about, gee whiz, the minimum wage is going to be going up to such and such. How in the world are we ever going to make that happen? 15. Remember when they were talking, that was the big number was $15 an hour was like, 
how is anybody going to survive? Mm -hmm. Because no, it was huge. Seven dollars. And you guys will remember, same as I do, back in the day, we paid just barely above minimum wage. You know, people actually worked in this profession for seven dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven. That was normal. You can't even I, see that in the rear view mirror, rear view mirror now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that now to even think about that is like, wow. Yeah. That that was crazy. Like, how did people even survive? Right. And, that's where. And the owners are, are 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 becoming more informed, more educated, and we're not afraid to charge what we need to charge in order to provide you know that level of service, which is really doing a big favor to the consumer because the consumers are getting much better service, much better business. So it's like a virtual circle. We're creating better jobs, we're providing better service and we're building better businesses all through this this, this evolution. And, you know, it's, it's not easy, but wow, I, I like where we are now compared to where we were 20 years ago. It was a heck of a lot harder 20 years ago. I actually like where we are compared to where we were before COVID. I mean, I know that it's not a popular thing to say, but boy, COVID helped this industry out, right? I would it, agree. I, I, I would agree. I'm not wishing for another pandemic. One no, enough, but not at all. I think, uh -huh. I think, I think, I think the residential cleaning industry, the the, the folks who are, who are, who are like building professional businesses, businesses. after COVID are in a better position now than they were pre-COVID. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so are the customers. The customers are also in a much better position. And they also understand, the customers are beginning to understand what it means to professionalize this industry. Because we were saying we're gonna professionalize the industry, professionalize the industry for years, but the customers were like, yeah, no, it's a mop in a bucket, y'all. No, you can no. say what you want, but it's a mop in a bucket. I don't care, I'm just gonna hire, you know, um, a Maria down the street that says she'll come in and oh, I didn't mean that in any derogatory way. My friend's name is Maria. That's what I'm pointing <laughs> but at. But sometimes, you know, you, right. But she's just, not a professionally trained professional. No. Then you get what you pay for. Yeah, you want, that's, that's why I say your home is one of your most valuable assets. Yeah. And, and coming out of the pandemic, I want somebody that I know what they're doing. Tom, before we end, I did have a, a membership promo that I want. I threw in the comment private chat. Can you throw that in the comments? Absolutely. I was going to go do it, but I'm always afraid. Every time I try and pull up Facebook or something, I, I get the echo and then I do the double broadcast on you. And I'm like, my bad. Okay. You mean you pull a list? That's <laughs> Aaron. So I, I, I want to make sure we throw that back in. So everybody, um, we've talked a lot about RC. We've talked a lot about the regional event. We've talked about the show. I, you know, as with anything, the more you put in, the more you get out of it. I hope you can join us in St. Louis. We have a phenomenal program. We're starting now on Thursday morning. We go through Saturday afternoon. Um, all of the information about the event will be, if you go to rc.org, we'll put all of the links and information there so you can get out to everything else. Um, but think about joining RC as well while you're taking a look there. I put a link up. I gave it to Tom to why you should join RC because, you, you know, Liz said she had said somebody that why would I join? I'm like, there's so many reasons. I have some testimonials there. It'll link you to some of the benefits. Um, plug into it. And then I gave a promo code. You can join using that code RCNEW23 for just $350 right now. So if you use that code, you can join for three fifty dollars for a year. Um, it's a huge value. And then I do hope you can join us in St. Louis. And also for those of you that heard that only three fifty dollars you're like, that's a lot of money. $350, that's a lot of money. I want to point out that it's one of those things, you've all heard it. Um, what, what, it what if you don't pay it? How much are you going to lose out on? Right? It sounds like a lot. But is it really a lot for what you get? It it is it's such a minuscule amount of money. I will tell you one thing you get with this with the three fifty is you get a we're offering if you join as a new member or renew your membership you get ninety day unlimited PHC package and that is our professional house cleaning certification package which we've talked a little bit about today huge huge value that we, we we have been tying that into membership because we want our members to be able to take advantage of that certification it helps you to give your employees. A, a career, not just a job. And it's a great program. 
Yeah, I, I popped this up on the screen because I want to put a little bit of just, I know we only have a couple of minutes here, but I want to point out that you're right. This is the problem. This is one of the problems that we're dealing with right now. But guess what? This is just the next problem. There isn't, there isn't such a thing as an industry with no problems. This is where we are now. Yeah, there are some people out there hiring people for pennies and they're, they're in a different place than we are. Now we actually have things in place, for example, through ARCC with the PHC program, the HCT program that can separate us. Before we didn't have that. Before the customers couldn't see. What, I, I don't understand what's the difference. Why would I hire you? Oh, is that me? That's me with that horrible echo. See, pulling a Liz. I was, I was hoping it wasn't me. I keep looking at my screen going, is that me? It's me. But the customers before couldn't see that there was a difference. They couldn't see the difference between hiring that company over there or that individual versus hiring our professional cleaning companies. But we have stuff now. We have things that we can point to. Look, this is how we're professional. Look, this is what makes us the better option. Look, this is why you want to hire us and not hire them. Right. I did want to point that out. And there are consumers out there who want their home cleaned on a recurring basis every week, every other week, that they don't want the cheapest option. Mm -hmm. They want a higher level of service. They want a higher level of professionalism. And service goes beyond just cleaning the home, you know, to, to a certain specification. It's how you schedule, it's how you bill, it's how responsive you are, it's you know how your communication channels that, that, that you have with your customers, how you educate them and keep them informed of the value that they're getting. All of these are things that you can learn by plugging into to ARCSI. And you know, that's, uh, that's, that's how you compete in, in, in the marketplace. And these people charging, you know, hiring people for pennies are actually doing you a favor in some regard because they're creating a starker, you know, yeah. point of differentiation between mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't want that. I want a no. company that's going to be providing a professional level of service. Yeah. And somebody right now it's perfect for us because most of the people out there in the world that we're hearing right now, they are against this idea of people getting paid pennies. What? You're not paying people what they're worth? Right. I don't like you. I don't want to do business with companies that aren't paying people what they're worth. Do you? I don't. I don't want to do business with those companies. People deserve to make a living and they deserve to be able to have some work-life balance. I know it's a catchphrase again, but they mm -hmm. deserve to have lives that they love. And we have to create those. Somebody's paying pennies? Nope. No, thanks. A lot of things have happened over the last few years that make this a really good time to be in the residential cleaning industry. And yes. all of those are part of the equation. Yes. Love it. Thank you so much. I don't know your name, sweet home, um, but awesome. <laughs> thanks for bringing that. Bringing that is awesome for us. Well, you know what time it is. I do. Top of the hour. It is. It is. Aaron, thank you so much for, for, for being with us today and sharing. It's always fun. You know, yeah. we, could, we could talk about Arxy all night long, yeah. but it is dinner time. Sometimes we have. Me too. Whole, <laughs> whole okay. Hey, Ron. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Ron. Yeah, nice to meet you, Ron. Thanks for uh, participating with us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank so, you very much. And hopefully yeah. see you in St. Louis. I hope so. You guys, uh, you Very know, good. we're going to be there. Going to look forward to meeting everybody. Um, we're going to be back next Wednesday, five o'clock Eastern, right, Liz? That's right. Two okay. more Wednesdays. Okie dokie. Yeah, we got uh, F12 coming up. And... We have F12 coming up uh, from the 19th through the 25th. And then we have 2.0 coming up from the 26th through your birthday on April 1st. Absolutely. Yeah. It's <laughs> It's going to be a crazy month. Okay, guys. Have a good rest of your week. We'll see you next week, 5 o'clock Eastern. Thank you again, Aaron. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, Aaron. Talk soon.